representatives from Obama administration, both President, uh, Vice President Biden and um, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, is um, in their recent meetings and um, statements have been trying to reach out to Russia with talk about pressing the reset uh, uh, button in bilateral uh, relations. Uh, could this create a problem for Ukraine? Um, I, I don't think the Obama administration has any intent of creating problems for Ukraine and looking to reset relations with Russia, to use their term, or to try to improve the relations, which uh, at the end of the Bush administration grew fairly tense between Washington and Moscow. Um, I think it will be a challenge, though, for the Obama administration to reassure countries like Ukraine as well as Georgia that the new American administration is not launching a Russia first policy, that Russia's neighbors will be viewed in a secondary kind of way while Russia is given priority. There are obviously many issues that the U.S. and Russia need to work on together, but I expect and hope that the Obama administration will also attach great importance to its relationship with Ukraine. So um, it, it is my hope, certainly, and I, I don't represent the Obama administration, of course, um, but that they recognize that they need to maintain good relations with Russia's neighbors, just as they seek to improve relations with Moscow. What does it mean, reset? What does it mean? What actually has to be done? Well, it doesn't mean Petagruska, <laughs> as we <laughs> all learn when Secretary Clinton gave the uh, joke gift to right. Foreign Minister Lavrov, Perezagruska. Uh, I guess to the extent that, that it can be translated. Um, I, I think what it, the intent is that the Obama administration wants to find areas of cooperation with Russia, emphasize those areas, while recognizing that there will be areas of, of disagreement. And I think the hope is that with the new administration in Washington, they can get relations back on a more positive track than when the relationship uh, came to a close under the Bush administration. Um, the Bush administration, I think, there has been a bit of a caricature of how policy toward Russia was handled. There was certainly an interest in working with Russia in areas of cooperation, but there was also a, a policy of pushing back on Russian policy and misbehavior whenever it was necessary. And so I think, I think that was the basic policy, work where we can, push back when necessary. Um, but I think the Obama administration wants to emphasize the work where we can part of that policy more so. Um, e even so, there were some early tests for the Obama administration. Remember, within hours after Obama's election victory in November, uh, President Medvedev threatened to put Iskander missiles in Kaliningrad. Um, we saw the Manas Air Base close in Kyrgyzstan few days before Vice President Biden went to Munich for the security conference, um, a situation that affects Afghanistan, an, an issue very important to President Obama. Um, we've seen other issues, too, where the Russians, I think, have shown that they are not to be taken for granted. They're not going to be involved in deal-making. They're going to pursue interests as they see it. But I, I think the, the new administration is hoping that they can at least change the tone and then, in turn, change some of the, some of the relationship. Um, in your recent article in Washington Post, you um, argue the Obama administration should avoid the grand bargain, as you said, in the relationship with Russia. How big a part of this grand bargain is Ukraine? Ukraine comes into play in terms of NATO. Um, and I think the situation in Ukraine will determine as much of its relationship with NATO as anything else. What I was uh, recommending or advising is that Ukraine not be traded off in any efforts to improve relations between the United States and Russia, and that the door to NATO should remain open for Ukraine. Um, last April in Bucharest, NATO allies said that Georgia and Ukraine would eventually become members of NATO. There was a, a, an effort reaffirmed in December at the NATO ministerial meeting uh, that also called for an annual uh, national action plan. Um, that too is a step toward that. But I think the reality in Ukraine also is that given the domestic situation, the economic crisis, the upcoming presidential election, NATO may not factor as much of an issue as might have been expected a few months ago. What's important, though, is that the issue not be dropped completely, that if Ukraine does decide it wants to pursue deeper relations with NATO, 
that decision, that issue, should be decided on its own merits, not through a Russia prism. In other words, we shouldn't decide whether NATO should have deeper ties with NATO. Uh, Ukraine should have deeper ties with NATO uh, because uh, Russia might or might not be opposed. It should be decided on its own merits. Is that possible? Uh, I mean, to not to put Ukraine in that part of the that bargain. I, mean, um, I think it is. I think I think um, in in the Bush administration we tried to make clear that our policy toward Russia's neighbors uh, was to be decided on uh, our interests with those countries, on those countries' interests, on those countries' aspirations for deeper integration with your Atlantic institutions. And I have in mind in particular Ukraine, but also Georgia, Azerbaijan as well, Armenia, Moldova. Um, all of those countries, we tried to establish policy between Washington and their respective capitals. We didn't try to have a third link in there of policy going through Moscow. It, it shouldn't be how policy is, is determined uh, with those countries. Those policies should be determined on their own merits. Um, it's, it's not easy. Um, I would say there are allies in Europe who do tend to view relations with Ukraine and Georgia and the other countries through a Russia prism. Um, my hope is that, that we move away from that and that will take some time. But uh, yes, United States wouldn't do, uh, I mean, would create a policy toward uh, uh, separate countries. But what about Russia? Ru Russia is not, it looks like not willing to drop Ukraine from their agenda. I think, I think that's right, and, and I think Russia still tends to view uh, its neighboring region as its sphere of influence, or it, where it has, as the term was used by President Medvedev, privileged interests. Um, Russia, I think, does view the region in revisionist zero-sum terms. So I, I, think, I think you're absolutely right to point out that Russia sees that region in a different way than we do. Um, and I think that reinforces even more the importance for the United States and for our allies in Europe to stress that there is no sphere of influence. There are no privileged interests. And if Ukraine wants deeper relations with the West, Ukraine should be able to pursue those. We also want to see good relations between Ukraine and Russia. Having bad relations between Ukraine and Russia is in no one's interest. And, but, but our view, the view in Washington is that having better relations with the West need not come at the expense of Ukraine's relationship with Russia. They should be able to have good relations all the way around.